everyone, today's video is the last episode of season one. Yeah, and we're going to talk about the videos that were our best videos, we'll talk about our worst videos, some of the things we learned along the way. Yes, and then we're also going to talk about what to expect on season two. That's right. Hey everyone, welcome to Team MSRV, where we show you life is not over just because you have MS for you or your caretaker. And that's why we decided to sell everything and enjoy life to the fullest. So follow us on our adventures for tips and tricks on how to cope with this disease on a daily basis. And maybe we could help each other. I know in the last video we talked a lot about what we're going to be doing and ways that you can get me to be possibly wearing a tutu. <laughs> but I don't think we were very clear on the fact that if you want to participate from home and kind of rally up your own funds from your own circles, you can do that. But if you don't want to do any of that and you just want to donate on behalf of Tammy or myself or the team as a whole, you can go to those links below and just donate directly. Yes. And also, don't forget, the t-shirts are in the stores. Don't That's right. Don't forget to buy one or two or maybe... Maybe one for the whole family. <laughs> I do want to say one thing about these t-shirts is these are the original shirts that we made for only season one. So these ones are limited. So those ones will not be available in the same way mm -hmm. next season. Next season we'll change something. Maybe we'll call it season two shirts. We'll call it something. But there'll yeah. be unique identifiers for sure for each season. We'll change like maybe the design. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll also have specialty t-shirts for things like the MS walk or other events we're going to participate in. That's good. So the first season, we had to learn how to record. What to record, <laughs> what to record. how to record, how much to record. Is the lights okay? Is, is the sound okay? Is, the, is there a train going by? Is Rocky moving around? We had a lot to learn. Are we near an Air Force base <laughs> or a drag strip? Yes. These are all things that we had to learn the hard way. We thought we would record outside at least 50% of the time. But you know what? Recording outside takes triple the effort. It does because there's so much sounds. Yeah, there's so much noise and you have the wind. And then we're like, we're not like movie stars. So we're not good at like acting out like in front of the camera, in front of the public yet. Yeah. We don't know how to do that. Right. And then we're also like in the campground. So we're like all packed together so you hear people yeah shutting doors cars driving by dogs dog barking, barking. <laughs> <laughs> our favorite <laughs> anyway so it's a it's been a huge learning curve so all you guys have stuck with us through that thanks for that yes because it's been we've had total losses on post night where i had to literally start from scratch that's true on the same day on post day yes because we just were not that good at it yet but I feel like we're getting much better my editing skills have grown and we I think you've learned how to be in front of the camera it's hard for me because I'm so shy you know and I, I don't think I'll ever learn how to do it right I just you, do me and you have like the I don't know what it is but it's you, you have something me it's yeah. hard for me to talk in front of the camera and even like having a conversation with people but no, you've done, yeah, you've grown a lot in that department, yeah. which is great because it, that's for your self-confidence, right? And when you feel good about yourself, you do more. Yeah. If you're afraid of who you are or you don't like who you are as a person, then you hide yourself and you power away. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's not what we're about. We're about teaching people to empower them. Yes. And cope with this disease. And make the best out of what mm -hmm. we got. Awesome. Also, uh, Frankie got some more work. He's going to be a little bit more busy. Yep. And so he was doing all the music in a video. For the background music and yes. the introductions. And so now he's going to change that and we're going to use the YouTube music. Yeah, YouTube has some music included with it. Um, it's probably very generic. I thought I was going to have more time where I'd be able to compose some stuff where I can have intros and transition sounds. and then. But it turns out that that's like a whole trade in itself. And sure, I, I'm capable of doing those things. But my time doesn't allow me to do those things. I mean, we like to eat too. Yeah. So we need money. <laughs> we need money. <laughs> and you only have so many hours a day to do everything you're doing. Right. Yeah. So with, yeah, with limited time, I have to relinquish some of these responsibilities. And I think the music is the easiest one now. Now, my personal music, I'm not, I'm not going to change that. I'm going to continue to develop my personal music and create that stuff. 
it's just the music for the channel you know it's starting to get boring and repetitive and I want it to be interesting for you guys so that's why we're gonna use the YouTube music yeah mm -hmm. on occasion when I release something that's good I'll, I'll, I'll obviously share it with everyone here on our videos but for the most part I just want to take that pressure off so I can apply more pressure somewhere else okay so let's talk about the episodes that we did on the first season at least the best ones so yeah we're gonna do the ms video first we're gonna review our that yeah our ms topics yeah and then after that we're gonna do our adventure yeah yeah and then where we're going after that okay mm -hmm. all right um, i know that it's hard for when we did the video for diagnosis I mean, I know it was hard for me to talk about it and how I felt and what happened to us. Mm -hmm. That was a, a big video. I think it's very helpful because a lot of people, <clears throat> um, they they go into Google in the beginning, right? And they're searching, oh, my legs hurts or my arm hurts or I got optical neuritis or right? they don't know what the heck's going on. And there's all kinds of maybes and Google will spew out unlimited diseases to you yeah. the more symptoms you put in I guess the more narrow down it gets mm -hmm. but I think having your video out there for diagnosis and what we've experienced is really helpful because it puts it in a real person format That's instead true. of just a list of symptoms that people might feel right and like we said before and we're gonna say it again your diagnose or your symptoms are not the same symptoms that someone else has right you'll, you know, you'll share some yeah but it's they're all different. MS is unique for everyone. That's right. And everyone has their own battle. They're fighting with mm -hmm. it. Yes. But with the knowledge, if you have the knowledge of everyone else's battle, or at least more people than your own situation offers, it gives you a broader perspective. And then maybe these things will come up in the future and you'll know how to deal with them. Yes. And that's what we're going to talk about. The baseline video that we did. Yes. That is important because you do all your symptoms and where your baseline is. I mean, this video that Frankie made for you guys is excellent. I like that video. I, I feel like that one helped a lot of people so far and it's gonna always be out, it'll always be out there for, That's true. for people to find. Um, understanding where you stand on your best day, knowing where your symptoms are waiting for you to pop up. Yes. Is such a great tool to have because you can plan your future you can plan your day, you can plan your week off of these things. Mm -hmm. Now the next video that I found that I thought was a super important video for everyone to consider is symptom tracking. Yes. And we put some links with how to use your the tracker. Yeah, and if you don't have one, you can buy one. It's just a calendar basically. It's good because when you go to the doctors, you have all your symptoms, when it happened and how many times you had it for a whole month or a whole year. Yeah, and plus it also helps you understand your own disease and frequencies you may have that I think everything on earth lives by a frequency. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just like you, you have your good days and you have your bad days. And by looking at your calendar or looking at the past, we can really predict what's coming up next month or when things are going to be bad. That's true. That video was really good. All these videos are going to be linked in the description, even though you could just go to the channel page, of course, and find them there. These are all season one symptom series yeah we're talking about here yes and then the next one that we want to talk about that i <laughs> always have a hard time with it's the migraines you woke up today with a migraine yes i did and you're forcing a little bit i trying and hopefully i'm doing good <laughs> and everyone knows how much i love that <laughs> <laughs> so yes the migraine was um a video that it's very important to me because i suffer with it a lot. A lot. And yes. you, now you're on your third medication um, with your a monthly medication plus an emergency medication for like on the spot migraines. Yes. And we're, we're it's a battle actually we're still dealing Hopefully with. Hopefully this one works. Yes. But check out that video because we give a lot of good information about ways to help relieve them or at least make yourself feel a little bit better. Ways to avoid them if it's possible. For you to try to function and the different types of medications. I mean, we're not scientists, so we don't really know all of them, but we did do the major medications. We reviewed them and how they work. 
and we could just talk about what I try. That's yeah. right. That's the only thing we can talk from actual experience. Yeah. Which is what we mostly try to talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Memory and MS. Oh, memory. I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I should have said that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the memory episode. The memory episode. I think that's a good one. I think that applies to a lot of people because, you know, I'm forgetful. I mean, I know MS has a tremendous effect on memory. And for people like me, I mean, I'm 42 or 43. Oh, I am 43 now. <laughs> okay, so, right. And I'm my memory's not failing, but my memory... It's less. I forget things all the time. Yeah. And I need triggers to remind me. What about another good episode in the MS series was the caretaker series. Yeah. Right? I mean, I think it was good because for me, it gave me a chance to talk about my point of view, how I deal with my problems and hopefully how I can help other people deal with theirs. I mean, there's a lot of internal stuff that happens that you don't know how to deal with. I mean, no one prepares you for it to deal with emotions from a disease that was unexpected and that no one ever plans on, how do you prepare? You can't. So you just gotta kinda ride the storm and wait for that dust to settle. Yes. That's that's the only thing I can ever, that's the best advice. It's kinda hang in there and know you got it. And it's not just like my life that got changed, it affects your loved one. Of course. It so, affected Rocky, it affected all of us. Yeah. It affected your mom in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think that everyone that was really close to us has been affected. Yes. So it's very important for you as a caretaker, of course, to be supportive of your loved one, but it's also very important to take care of yourself. Yes. Which is something that I neglected for the first two or three years of your diagnosis. And that builds up yeah, more you're, and more weight. Right, you're always like worry about me and not even taking care of yourself. That's right. And I think that that's, uh, that's where a caretaker from any illness or any kind of family member that's taking care of another family member, I think that that burden gets buried because you just worry about who you're taking care of. Yes. So yes. make sure to check in for yourself. Yeah, check out that video. It's It was very There's a good. lot of good information. Mm -hmm. And I have a new one coming up. The next one is the preparation for the first neurology appointment. First, you breathe. Yes. You have to breathe and make sure you have a list, all your questions that you want to ask your Get doctor. Get all your ducks in a row. Because mm -hmm. if you're just worried and worried and worried and you go empty handed. You won't remember. You're going to get scatterbrained. Yes. And it's not, it's not you in particular. It's nature. You're freaking out a little bit. And now you have someone that like has the power to help you and you're panicking because you want to tell them everything. Right. And it, it's better to be organized. Yes. So check out that video. Yeah, I think you did a good job with that one, helping everyone understand all the steps they need to take to go there and you'll be confident because you're gonna have everything in your hands that you wanted to say, that you've been planning to say, but you don't have to like jumble it all up in five minutes. You can sit there and show them. Right, and then even if you have symptoms that you're having issue with, write those down. And your questions. Yeah. Everything, all that stuff. Yeah. Check out that video. The first neurology appointment was a really good hit because, you know, we're part of a few groups on, on different platforms on the internet. And that is one common question. I'm going through diagnosis. I just got referred to an MS specialist. What That's the I first need? tip. Yeah, yes. make sure it's an MS specialist if you have MS. Yes. Moving on. Okay. Ooh. This one's gonna make her smile. I don't even have to look. <laughs> So the next one was when I got my bike, my e-bike. I yeah. was so excited. That it was, does make you go, e it does. <laughs> yeah, it was fun and I was using it. And, it was. Well, she uses it. I'm using it now, but where we're at, it's I get little... flat tires. I had six flat tires so in far. two weeks. So, yeah, so far. <laughs> so far. So I kind of like slow down using it. But I do miss it. I enjoy and I love it. Yeah, for sure. And we've, we've had some well, great adventures me? with yes. that bike. Yeah. So definitely check out that video. I mean, it just adds miles to your days. It's awesome. It does because we use the bike all the time. Regular mountain bike. And then 
I stopped when I got diagnosed because I wasn't able to keep up with him. And then when we got this, now we could ride. I mean, it's yeah, so Yeah, I can't fun. keep up with her now. So, yes, check out that She's video. She's got a lead thumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on. Moving on. So, that was a, those were our best, if not all of our MS specific topics yeah i mean we try to include ms topics or ms tips in all of our videos which i think we do adventures or not but those ones were really like search terms that people might look for yes yeah so and then um so in the process of all of that though we've had adventures this is team ms rv and then we're traveling we're traveling we're having fun we're uh, visiting national parks mm -hmm. we also wanted to talk about you know when we first started with the camper like our feeling like how we were okay it was scary but the first trip was okay it wasn't too bad it, it was fun bad. but you don't but, know what's coming no I mean, you we, don't. it's a big step we we rolled the dice we did we it's almost a year now because we started in March that's of right. Last year. And it's January now. Yes. Almost a whole year. Already. Uh, yes. Half <laughs> full time. But no, but we're happy too. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had challenges. So we're not saying traveling in an RV is perfect for someone with MS because we find that healthcare is very difficult when you're not in your home state. Yes, that's true. And also, uh, traveling with MS is hard. We always had to, the first trip that we did, we, did it nice and easy was slow i was able to like relax recover in Reco between yes so we learned that that's what we had to do and uh, but the second trip we also started doing the slow yeah planned plan. trips with planned breaks <laughs> yes yeah but at the end we went we wanted to get faster so we were traveling like like we were traveling we would stop and then the next day we would travel again was, that was really hard and stressful on yes. me and probably on you too that's cool <laughs> see you hear it the next topic we want to talk about is our adventures yeah um so the first trip that we did we didn't do as much adventures as the second trip we were trying to, we didn't know what it was going to cost. We didn't know with our monthly overhead, what it was going to be like. We didn't want to spend $10,000 a month. We didn't know what it was going to cost right. us. So we, I think we were a little more careful and we kind of planned our trips a little tighter and a little better. Mm -hmm. And then the first one that we did was Shenandoah. The first national park yes. was Shenandoah yes. in Virginia. And then that one, I got the fatigue. Like yeah, we, you did. We were starting and it was nice. It was great. I was watching. I mean, there was so much stuff to see, like the scenery. And I just crashed. You ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. Yeah, that's basically what it is. And it's not something you can go and drink a coffee and feel better. Right? You can Some, try. Someone with MS knows. I mean, <laughs> that might kick a, a worker person in into mode. But, um, but, but once we got all the way down to Florida, I feel like we were like, okay, now we're somewhere that's definitely newish for us, and we wanna, we wanna experience stuff. Yeah. We did the beach many times. We went to Key West. We did the Everglades. I mean, we we did a lot in Florida. And that was like our trip. We wanted to get to Florida as much of fast that we wanted. Yeah, as soon as we can. Yes. And then when we got there, we're like. Ah, Okay, now we could go see. Basically, stuff. our summer started. It was in April. Yeah. Because we were like in the Carolinas by that time. Mm -hmm. So that was really good. And then by the time we got to Florida, it was hot, like eighties, seventies, and eighties. But it wasn't summer yet. No. So you were able to handle it. We stayed there for two or three weeks. Yeah, I think so. That was a fun time because we went away for like half a week. We did. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. And then after that, we started to come back. Yes. But we want oh, sorry. We wanted to talk about our next adventure, the second trip. Yeah. So that one we did more, a lot more national park. And state parks. More trips. More, more, more adventures. Yeah. So now we were planning our stops and we were centralizing them around areas that had stuff we wanted to do. Yeah. So we wanted to go to Nashville, but we didn't want to stay in Nashville. Right. Right. We knew that that would be either too expensive, too crowded, too loud, too everything. Mm -hmm. So we 
stayed outside. About but 45 we, minutes away. Yeah, but we went to Nashville and it was great. They probably know already. <laughs> but then from there also though, I mean, I think we mentioned it in one of the videos, we were centralized. So we were able to go north of where we were and see Mammoth Caves and we've seen the Lost River Caves. And we, I mean, we did a lot of things in that area. Yeah, we did. That was a, that was a lot of fun. Not to mention I wrote my songs. Some of, three right. of my songs. Yeah. Got a big park over there. Yeah, well, you need to uh, put that in. Take it easy, lady. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Season one still. Take it easy. But he will put it on for sale for like 99 cents if you guys want to buy it when he's ready. <laughs> These are not mastered copies yet. These are original acoustic only songs. But I need some amazing. friends to play some music for me behind like bass and drums and all the other to make it a real song that we are all proud of releasing. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> okay, moving on. Moving forward. So, no. so, but the adventures is a part of our trips, right? So now, like we said, on the second one through, we were kind of being more deliberate and we were landing in places that we knew had, had sites to see. Yes, even state parks. Which have been amazing. Yeah. State parks have been sometimes just as beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's really nice. They are treasures. Make sure you visit your state parks and support the system because they, they grab land and they hold it for good. There was one that I really liked was in Erie, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. That state park was really Presque nice. Isle. Yeah. Presque Isle State Park. That was beautiful. That was an awesome it's, park. It had beaches. It yeah. was, it was like this huge peninsula that went out into Lake Erie. Yeah. Yeah. That was an amazing that was park. Nice so shout out to pennsylvania for that one yes. it's even hard to imagine because it's just like this little notch of pennsylvania but it was awesome they had a little campground there that was affordable and mm -hmm. nice yeah. piers to walk yes so yeah adventures is part of it and then and not only adventures but adventures yes. so sometimes there's like certain cases where we've been to places where you may not have been able to enjoy it if they didn't have handicap accessibility. Yes, there was one cave that I wouldn't have been able to go because the this cave that we went to, I don't remember the name of it, was we had the elevator. 750 feet down. Yeah, so I was able to enjoy that and I'm glad yeah, I was able to enjoy it. We got it. down there and it was still a mile and a half. Was it a mile and a half? No, it was an hour and a half walking but very slow pace very yes. it was a nice paved and uh walkway and it had railings and all that but it was crowded at times we kept pulling over to let people buy us so that we weren't getting breathed on you know right but yeah. um it was amazing huge ceilings like 60 70 foot ceilings like an incredibly gigantic space underground mm -hmm. but you would never have been able to go down the 300 or something stairs yeah. and then come back up to yeah. the natural entrance mm -hmm. so without that yeah that would have been a hard time and that we also used it in mammoth cave in kentucky yes that's right that was only 300 feet or 160 feet it was much less they had a lot more tunnels and a lot more caves but it wasn't as far underground and this one had someone with us and they were explaining at mammoth yes. yeah yeah that was nice too yeah that was cool yeah. i mean so these adventures these are things that we never thought we would even see. Right. And that was like half of the reason why we, we wanted to get out. Once we found out MS was hurting you, we were we changed our gears. We changed plans. We changed, we changed our, our mindset. Yes. And that's it. And now we live a totally different way. And you know what? Things that you chase turn out to be things that are even better. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right? I mean, look, we have this channel now with people following us that we're hopefully helping or at the very least entertaining. I think they're help. I think we're helping. <laughs> and, and also, I mean, they're seeing the adventures and at things that they can do themselves. Yeah. We're proven that it's possible. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about what's coming up on season two, right? We already mentioned that the music's going to probably change. Yeah. Uh, maybe for the better, maybe for the worse, whatever. <laughs> no, it's going to be better for you. We won't have to. It'll allow me more time. It'll take some stress yes. off of my yeah, so we're gonna also with the episode we're gonna put the caretaker we're gonna try subject. to yeah we're gonna change the format of our episodes a little bit yes right so we're gonna have like we'll talk about a subject but then at the end of that we'll put like the caretaker section where i kind of explain my perspective my point of view as a non-ms patient right if you guys have any ideas put it 
down below in a comment. Yeah. And then, or message us or find us on one of the social platforms. Right. And then maybe we could do an episode. Yeah, because we're always listening and looking for new ideas and new directions to head. I also want to include here that we're ready to start collaborating with other people out there raising MS awareness. A lot of people I'm finding with MS, they want to do something to help other people. And we all like build up this thing and we get stuck at like a plateau. And I think the next step is to collaborate with others to grow our library and they grow their libraries together. Yes. And as we join forces, we're going to create a bigger and bigger platform with more and more knowledge and more and more perspectives and point of, points of view. And I think that's very important so it's not just us. Right. I think, so if you guys are interested and you're watching and you write articles or you do a vlog or something, we could definitely work together, get in contact with us. All right, it was a great first season. And then till next time. We look forward to next season. Bye. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. Use our playlist to watch our video in order. And the best way to support us is to like this video and subscribe to our channel and get notifications. Don't forget, 25% of any money ever earned on this channel will be donated to an MS cause of your choosing. As a team, we got this. Come outside. Okay. Hey, dude. You come outside. You come outside. No. Okay. Wanna come inside? Rocky, wanna come inside? Okay.